Hi everyone, so today we're going to be learning how to use the bearings and other small pieces that are included in the VEX claw block kit. So let's start with the most basic bearing. It's the three hole bearing. It's basically got three holes. And then on the other side, it's also got these bumps, which you can see a little bit here. And they're basically made to fit into the square shapes in the C channel. So whenever you screw them in, make sure to fit all the little bumps into the square holes to make sure it holds securely. So yeah, I'm just going to put that here. So take one of these screws, usually I use the 0.5 just because they're just that perfect length to uh, screw through without having too much left over. So yeah, just put them in any configuration you want, you can put it like this, put it like that, or anyhow. Usually just use two to make it extra secure and leave the other hole open for your axle to put in. And the reason why you need these for these axles is basically uh, if you put the axle into the bare metal hole, over time as it spins, it'll actually move a little bit. So it'll actually start like boring a hole into the axle. It'll make this square hole into like a really big kind of circular deformed hole. And so uh, if you don't want to damage your metal pieces, you have to make sure to put these bearings in to give it a nice smooth plastic circle to roll in without damaging the metal. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just going to screw this in. Like you can see how it's all the bumps are into the hole because it's just flush against the metal and there's nothing, there's no space in between. So uh, in this we have the other one, it's a newer piece, it's basically only needs one um, screw and it can be a shorter screw and only needs the hexagonal nuts rather than the caps nuts that I used here. You can see that they're caps nuts because they have a little flower on them basically. Uh, for a lack of a better term, and those help grip the metal to make sure they don't come loose as easily. Uh, you want to tighten them quite tightly so they don't come loose in competition, but sometimes they still will, so just make sure if you have them, just keep checking them to make sure they don't come loose and something falls off your robot during the match. So yeah. So this can also be used. It's basically a more specialized version of this piece, I guess, because this piece, it's it's more customizable, right? You can use it for anything, but this piece has like certain uses depending on how you can fit it into your robot. So just make sure to put in the little hexagonal piece. As I said, it doesn't have the flower, it's just a flat piece. So just put it into the hexagon shape there, and then just screw it in. Again, there's also these little bumps on the thing. Let's see if it can focus. Yeah, you can see the little bumps. Those are also meant to fit into the square shaped holes of the C-channel. Just make sure it fits in like so and just screw it in. Uh, for these you can use a slightly shorter screw because uh, it doesn't stick out that much. It's, it's a thinner piece than this and so if you don't want to stick out just use like a 0.375 length screw. Yeah, and it'll fit better. And this is another similar piece. Although it's basically just used to hold the screws in place to make sure they don't move. This one you can also fit an axle in to have the same function as this. So yeah, this one's basically just to make sure your screw nuts don't come less loose easily. And this, oh, fell off. Screw it in like that. Yeah. And you also have this piece, which is basically just a nut holder, again for the hexagonal flat looking nuts. Uh, you can see that on this side it has these four little bumps that are square shaped, and those are to fit into the C channels. See my camera can focus a little better. They're, it's a quite a big piece, so basically you can only fit into these wide parts of the piece, and only to uh, basically have a holder for the middle hole. So yeah, just push it in all the way, making sure it's flush with the metal. Make sure all the plastic little pieces are in, and just put the, the little nut in. 
flat and then just screw it in while you hold it in place with your finger. Wee. Yep, like that. And yeah, those are the main little plastic pieces that are used for the claw butt. And you also have the axles. And I think what's included with the claw butt kit is that you get these little rubber shaft collars. And if you put two on, usually it'll give you enough force to hold the axle in place. Like so. Uh, however, uh, I'm used to using metal shaft collars in competition just because, uh, you know, it's metal, right? So it it's a little more secure. So uh, unfortunately, I'm using the older system, which is the hex drive. So this is a 5x64 size hex drive screw, but uh, now they make star drive shaft collars, but you know, since I don't compete anymore, there's really no point of buying it, right? But they're sh star drive. Um, shaft collars and uh, they're the T8 size. I think it says on the VEX website so just be sure th to get them from there, yeah. So basically you just have to make sure that the screw part, the, sh the shaft collar is aligned with the flat part of the axle. You don't want to want to be screwing it in on the edge part because that won't give you a secure enough hold. So just make sure it's on the flat part. And you just screw it in a little bit. So yeah. Uh, one thing you have to be sure of is not to over tighten it because if you over tighten it, you can actually accidentally end up stripping the screw, which can be really po problematic later on because uh, once you strip it, uh, it's really hard to get back out. I don't think that's mu as much of a problem now with the um, star drive than the hex drive, but still, so something to be aware about. Yeah.